Hi everyone, Mike here from Watch It Paint It, and in this video I'm going to show you my method for painting Plasma Glow. I'm going to demonstrate this on a Volkite Blaster from a Tech Priest Dominus from Warhammer 40k. So two tips right off the bat, you want the area surrounding the glow to be dark. This is going to make the bright areas seem that much brighter. My gun is painted with a 50-50 mix of German Grey from Vallejo and Gunmetal from Army Painter, but you could do the same thing with Corvus Black and Lead Belcher from Games Workshop. Since these coils are black, I'm going to first base coat them with a base color, Corax White. After that, I'm going back and repainting everything with white scar, and you want to make sure all of this is covered and nice and bright. Next, I'm moving on to the greens, and the star of the show is going to be Green Fluorescent from Vallejo. I'm mixing this about one part paint to two parts water to make a glaze. This paint does not mix well with other colors, so there won't be any wet blending going on here. The first thing I'm going to do is put a thin, even layer over every part of the white. I've seen some people leave the bottom completely white to make it look hotter, and that makes sense if you're not using any fluorescent paint. But I want every part of this to have the brightness of the fluorescence, so I am putting a very thin layer over everything. Once I'm done, it's going to look pretty much entirely white anyhow, with just a small hint of green. Once everything is covered and that's had time to dry, I'm putting a second and then a third layer of this green just on the coils, the parts that are sticking up. The gaps in between them are only getting that one layer of paint. When I put that second layer on, I'm not going all the way to the bottom of the coil. I'm leaving a small gap. When I put the third layer on, I'm leaving a bigger gap, so this is going to make the green more concentrated near the top of the coils. As you can see, I've also painted the bottom edge around the coils white, and I'm putting a few layers of the green here, and I'm also adding some green to the very top of the gaps between the coils. I'm just adding a bit more to the top of the coils to make the color difference more obvious between the top and the bottom. Now I'm switching to Warpstone Glow, and just like with the fluorescent green, I'm watering this down with at least twice as much water as paint. This is then going to go on the top one-third of the plasma coils. I'm only taking a tiny amount of paint at a time because I don't want any of this to run down between the coils. Next I'm doing a second and third layer of this. Each time it's going to be a bit smaller, moving closer and closer to the top of the coils. Now it's time for the Caliban Green. This color is for the coolest part of the coils, the very top. I'm putting this onto the top 20% or so of the coils, again using two or three layers. Now for the final step, the green glow around the plasma coils. This part is the easiest, but definitely the most tedious. I'm going to edge highlight all around the coils and add layers of green to the metal surfaces that are facing the coils. I'm back to my thinned down fluorescent green for this part. It's easy because it doesn't matter if you're a bit sloppy. You're using thin layers, so small mistakes won't matter at all. I'm slowly building up the green where I think it should be the brightest, and where possible I'm painting towards the coils with my brush. Just be patient and add enough layers that you're happy with the brightness of the green. And there you have it, a nice bright neon plasma glow for your plasma weapons. Thank you to all the patrons who supported the creation of this video, and as always, Ben and I are very grateful for your involvement with the channel. If you want to see more tips like this in the future, let us know in the comments section, and thanks for watching.